Hello class! So this time, this will be the last topic sa influence line for statically determinate structures, no? So this is the influence line for statically determinate trusses. So paano na natin i-sketch yung influence line para sa trusses and paano natin i-apply yun for certain types of loads class. So sige, no? Simulan na natin class yung ating discussion. So wait lang. Ayan. So, sabi dito, the concept of sketching the influence line for trusses class is just the same with that of the beams. However, the influence line will represent the actual load in the member of the truss. Thus, the ordinate will be positive if the member experiences tension and negative if it experiences compression. So, this time class, ang gagawin natin ng influence line is yung mga member ng forces. Halimbawa, influence line for the force in member AB. Influence line for the force in member CD. Mga ganun, no? Eh, syempre, sa trusses class, dalawa lang naman ang pwedeng mangyari. So, the truss can be um, a compression or attention no so ganun lang naman ang possibility dito class no so syempre susundin natin class yung ating sign convention from chapter 3 which is the analysis of statically determinate trusses sabi nga natin doon if the member experiences tension positive siya Un unless syempre kung compression siya edi eh, negative na ang mangyayari okay pero iwala dito ang Euler Breslau principle class na mangyayari So, therefore, literal na babalik tayo sa barbaric solution. So, kung maalala nyo, yung barbaric solution class is yung process sa unang video nitong playlist natin for um, influence line for statically determinate structures nga. So, sige, um, I prepare two examples here and this video covers the example one only. So, example number 22, the first example. So, consider the truss shown below. So, this is a W truss, di ba? So, basta taras ito, so, 4 meters, tapos ang height niya ay 3 meter. So, roller dito and hinge dito sa kabila. So, the questions are, letter A, determine the influence line for the member AF. Letter B, determine the influence line for member AB. Letter C, determine the influence line for member CE. So, syempre, yung unang tatlong tanong class is dapat daw ma-sketch natin yung influence line daw. So, syempre, yung part 2 niya, So, if the truss is subjected to uniform dead load of 6 kN per meter, uniform live load of 15 kN per meter, and a concentrated live load of 50 kN, so may mga loads tayong i-consider, so determine yung sunod, the maximum actual force in member AF, yung sunod is the maximum actual force in member AB, and yung sunod is the maximum actual force in member CE. Okay, so tingnan nga natin nasaan sila. Yung AF class, itong tagilid, itong AB, itong nakahiga, and lastly, yung CE, itong vertical. Tama ba? So yes, tama siya. So therefore, um, syempre, ang unang step dito class is, um, katulad lang naman to ng beam, i-sketch nyo muna yung influence line, tapos yung application class ni dead load, ni live load, saka ni concentrated nga, is the same kung paano natin ina-apply siya sa beam sa previous discussion. So there is um, no new topic dito. Ang medyo challenging lang talaga dito is yung pag-sketch ng influence line ng mga trusses. So before I recorded this video class, I already prepared that. So halimbawa, for example 22, I already copied the slide. So ang unang gagawin nyo class is barbaric nga. So yung unit load is ipapadaan nyo muna sa H. Tapos after nun, ipapadaan mo sa G. Tapos after nun, ipapadaan nyo muna sa F. Then after nun, ipapadaan nyo sa E. And lastly, ipapadaan nyo sa D. Tapos, habang yung load is nandito, since ang concern nga natin is AF, AB, and CE, hahanapin natin class yung force sa AF, which is ito, force sa AB, which is ito, and yung force sa CE. Okay? So, yun yung concern ng problem natin ngayon class. Okay? So, therefore, ulitin ko, padaanin nyo muna siya dito sa H, sunod sa G, sunod sa F, sunod sa E, and sunod sa D. Okay? So, yun yun yung magiging step so una solution place the unit load at H so nasaan siya nandito siya 1 so I need not to show the ano, process of obtaining the reaction so pasensya na mali lang ako nang nakopya so of course this must be 0 okay so dapat pala 0 dito however um, yun lang syempre kung 1 dito 
magre-react dito is 1. And in order to obtain the force in AB and AF class, gagamit ako dito ng method of section. So, I already shown that. So, recall na lang the chapter 3, the process for the method of sections nga. Okay? So, ito yung mangyayari class sa ating beam, uh, sa ating truss. So, this is FAB, FAF. And based dito, naka-diagonal siya na 3, 4, 5. So, ang concern ko is yung AB nga, saka yung AF. At the same time, yung CE. Diba? So, summation forces vertical equal 0. So, syempre, ang upward natin is 1. Ang downward natin is yung unit load plus yung vertical component class ni FAF, which is magiging 3 fifth ng FAF. So, theoretically, magiging 0 din lang naman yan. So, usually, if the, ano, if the unit load is at the support class, lahat yan dapat maging 0. Gusto ko yun i-emphasize, no? Usually, if the unit load is at the support, lahat dapat ng mga forces dito ay maging 0. So, next tayo, summation moment at F tayo equal 0. I am referring to this one in order to obtain FAB. So, in that case, um, yung 1 natin, this 1, the reaction is clockwise moment with a moment arm of 4 meter to. And, syempre, dito 4 meter kaya 8. Plus, yung FAB natin, ang kanyang moment arm I3 equals 1 times 8. So, ang ending din lang naman dito, makakancel din siya. So, yun, magiging 0. So, as I said earlier, usually class 0 talaga yan. Okay, no? So, lahat yan. Even in E. Pero dito, instead na mag-method of joint style, ay mag-method of section. Para mahanap natin class yung CE, ang ginawa ko na lang is nag-method of joint ako sa point E. Kasi nga, tatlong members din lang naman yan. Saka yung CE lang naman yung uh, consideration ko. So, although, dapat nga hindi tayo mag-method of section at method of joints dahil tatlo kalaga class yung kailangan. Pero for this case, um, vertical naman kasi siya. So, kung titingnan nyo yung free body diagram, eh, wala naman ng ibang vertical kundi yung CE lang. Kaya pag nag-summation forces vertical tayo equal 0, up equals down, malamang ang FCE natin ay maging 0. Okay? So, yun yung process. So, madali lang siya, yun lang paulit-ulit. So, the next step will be, yung unit load natin is ilalagay na natin sa point G. ba So, transfer mo siya. Unit load, lagay mo na sa point G. So, place the unit load at G. Nandito na siya. And using equilibrium class, hahanapin mo yung reactions. So, the reaction at H will be 3 fourth and the reaction at D will be 1 fourth. So, ikat mo ulit dito by method of section. So, halimbawa, summation moment, assumption forces vertical equals 0. Up equals down. So, ang up natin ay 3 fourth. Tapos, ang down natin class ay dalawa. Isang 1. Tapos, the vertical component of FAF. So, ang magiging sagot ng FAF is negative 5 over 12. By the way, dapat i-assume nyo class lahat ng members natin ay acting in tension. So, again, i-recall nyo yung chapter 3 natin. Kasi nga, pag negative, it means compression. So, FAF is negative 5 over 12. Might as well, summation moment at F tayo equal 0. So, ang clockwise moment natin class is itong 3 fourth natin with a moment arm of 8 plus yung FAP natin with a moment arm of 3 equals itong 1, may moment arm nga siya na 4. So, yun, FAB is 2 thirds. So, ne sorry, negative 2 thirds. So, method of change ulit at E. So, nandito yung force. Um, nandito yung point E class. Um, that is still, uh, anong mangyayari? Zero pa rin pag nag-summation um, forces vertical tayo. So, ganun lang. Um, kung sino, um, kung Ano kasi, didiscuss ko pa ito ngayon. Magiging mahaba talaga itong recorded video na to. So, next tayo is place the unit load na nga at F. So, nandito na siya. So, tig 1 half. So, kayo na lang siguro bahala mag-verify. Oh. So, screenshot nyo. Verify nyo na tama siya. Ayan, no. So, pwede nyo i-pause muna for a while. Basta dito, tama yung process nyan. Kasi nga, ba summation forces vertical, upward yung 1 half. Ang, wala nang downward, ah. Wala nang downward kasi... Kung ang pipiliin nating section itong kaliwa, yung 1 class is nasa right part na therefore, it does not reflect class to the truss. So therefore, ayan na lang yung equation, 3 fifth. So magiging positive 5 over 6. For summation moment at F, lagay mo dito, um, 1 half times 8 plus FAB times 3 equals 0. So the answer is negative 4 thirds. Ganun din, sige pa rin tayo. Um, Napupunta na tayo sa point E, method of joints na lang at E. So, therefore, ang mahahanap nyo pa rin ay 0 dahil wala nga nag a na load. So, ganun lang yan, class. Wala naman yan pinagkaiba. So, lima lang naman to kasi nga, um, lima yung nasa gawing baba. So, sunod tayo na pag-uusapan natin is yung E, ba So, sa point E, nandito na siya. Place the unit load at E, nandito na. 
So, same process. Ito magiging 1 fourth. Ito magiging 3 fourth. So, you may pause this para masiguro nyo yung tama itong mga ordinates natin. Yung FAF is 5 over 12. Yung FAB is negative 2 thirds. However, class, sa pagkakataong ito, may pinagkaiba sa magiging solution natin, class. Bakit? Kasi, tingnan nyo, method of joints at E, meron ng value. Yung FCE natin ay equal sa 1. Bakit? Kasi, class, yung unit load natin ay nilagay na natin sa point E. Eh, since nasa point E siya, kapag drenowing mo yung free body diagram niya ngayon, so, therefore, FCE will be equal to 1 and that is positive, therefore, tension siya. So, kanina, lahat siya 0. Halimbawa, no? For the first one, 0. Sa pangalawa, 0. Sa pangatlo, 0. Pero ngayong pang-apat, naging 1 siya. So, yun kasi dahil yung load natin ay nalolocate na mismo sa point E. And lastly, um, ang panghuli is point D. So, yun. Nandito siya. So, since nga, as I said earlier, ang ating unit load is nasa support mismo, expect mo na all values must be equal to 0. Diba? So, FAF will be 0. FAB will be 0. And FCE will be 0 as well. So, okay na? Yun. So, tingnan nyo na lang, class, yung mga points na yan. And, ang next na gagawin natin is, of course, plotting. So, yun. Di ba nga, barbaric solution is plotting. Kasi nga, yung unang tanong, class, sa problem is letter A, is sketch the influence line for member AF. Yung pangalawa, is sketch the influence line for member AB. And, yung pangatlo, is sketch the influence line, class, for member CE. So, yung AF, nandito siya, class. This is the sketch. Magsisimula dito, nung yung load is nasa H, 0 siya. Nung nasa G, negative 5 over 12. Yung nasa B, 5 over 6. Tapos dito, naging positive 5 over 12. Sorry. Um, baguin lang natin. No? 5 over 12. And syempre, babalik yan sa 0. And of course, class, kailangan natin dito, i-ratio and proportion to. Kasi, hahanapin natin yung area. So, to prove na tama, class, yung ratio and proportion ko, Let's say, tawagin ko muna yan na x. So, di ba Ang mangyayari, x is to 5 over 12. Eh, yung nasa kabila, magiging um, 4 minus x dito. Okay, no? So, that is equal to 4 minus x and that is 5 over 6. So, hanapin natin yung value niya, 1.333. But, in fraction, that is 4 thirds. Okay? Kailangan kasi natin yan, class, dahil nga, di ba um, sa influence line, importante yung area. Diba? So, yun. We need to understand that idea. So, next tayo. Um, for the influence line, for force AB, yun, negative 2 third, negative 4 third, negative 2 third, then 0. So, dapat mag-close naman din yan. Okay? And lastly, for FCA, diba? Um, 0 muna siya dito, class. Tapos, 0. Tapos, 0. Tapos, biglang nag-1 yun at point A and balik siya sa 0. Diba? Bigla siyang nag-1 sa point E. So, therefore, ganito class ang itsura ng influence line natin at CE. So, ayan. Na-sketch na natin class yung influence line natin. Both ay in force AF, force AB, and force CE. However, of course, alam nyo naman yung importante is yung application. So, sabi dito, if the thrust is subjected to the following load, may dead load tayo na 6 kN per meter, may live load tayo na 15 kN per meter, and meron tayong concentrated live load na 50 kN, yung unang tanong is what is the maximum axial force in member AF? So, yun. So, alam nyo naman, ang mangyayari class kapag dead load, you have no choice but to apply that all throughout the span. Lagay natin. You need to apply the 6 kN per meter class all throughout the span. And by the way, putulin natin siya dito. Maglagay lang ako ng dash. So, this will be 6 kN per meter. Um, 6 kN per meter. Pero, kung titingnan nyo ngayon, class, ang influence line ng thrust natin, so, sabi nga natin, kapag positive is tension, kapag negative is compression. Eh, ang tanong, class, sa problem, kung babasahin nyo ng maigi, is what is the maximum axial force? It does not ask you kung ano yung maximum tensile force or maximum compressive force. So, dapat mag-decide ka. Parang shear ito, class, ba? So, kapag ang tanong sa inyo, what is the maximum shear? 
hindi mo alam kung positive shear or negative shear. So, titingnan mo sa itsura ng influence line kung aling area ang mas malaki. So, yun yung magiging decision mo. So, ganun din dito class. No? Kung titingnan natin ang influence line for the force in AF, mas malaki itong positive area. So, kahit i-check mo yan as compared dito sa negative area. So, therefore, ibig sabihin nito class, the actual force is what? Attention. Kasi nga, hindi natin pwedeng i-label na positive to. Positive value. Alam natin na kapag positive tension, kapag negative compression. So, therefore, yung 15 kN per meter class, i-apply ko lang yan doon sa segment na yan. So, ganun naman talaga, ba diba, ang konsepto. Okay? So, this will be ang um, 15 kilonewton per meter. And lastly, since there is an existing concentrated load class of 50 kilonewton, tingnan nyo yung pinakamataas na ordinate, which is sa case natin is 5 over 6, nag-aak siya class dito sa ating point F. So, 50 kilonewton. So, this will be the orientation of the load in order to maximize class the force in AF. So, therefore, gamitin na lang natin class yung ating natutunan sa previous discussion so, F, A, F, max, that is equal to, so, syempre, unahin muna natin plus itong 6 kN na nasa negative area, di ba? So, that will be equal to 6, and yung area niya is 1 half, ang base ay 4, plus 4 third, ang height is negative 5 over 12. Tama ba? Check lang natin, no? So, 6 ito, ang area is 1 half, ang base nga is 4 plus 4 thirds, and ang height is negative 5 over 12. Then, isunod na natin, yung nandito naman sa tension area, but this time, this is 6 plus 15, and the area will be 1 half, ang base natin is 8 plus 8 thirds, baka yung iba nagtataka, so 4 plus 4 malamang 8, and plus 8 thirds dito. So, bahala na, na lang yung calculator nyan. And yung height class ng ating ano, Sorry, yung height class ng ating triangle is 5 over 6. Okay? So, okay na tayo sa kabilang bahagi. And of course, wag yung kalimutan yung 50 class. Malabang ang ordinate na ilalagay natin dito is 5 over 6. Kasi di ba kapag concentrated load, ang nilalagay talaga natin ay yung ordinate. So, therefore, um, computein natin siya. So, sige. 6. Tapos, um, 1 half, then 4, plus 4 thirds, tapos negative 5 over 12, so diba, plus 6 plus 15, 1 half, 8 plus 8 thirds, tapos 5 over 6, plus 50, 5 over 6. So, yun, kinakapos. So, ang sagot natin ay 128.3333 kilo newtons. And therefore, class, as I said earlier, since this is positive, so dapat ang maging conclusion natin dito ganito. So, yung FAF natin must be 128.3333 Kilo newton, but you need to label that as tension. So, ito na class yung sagot natin for number 18. Ah, sorry. For number, letter D pala to. So, next tayo is for FAB naman, pero maximum. So, ang gagawin mo lang naman dito, nagkataon lang naman class na um, all throughout the span, negative siya. So, therefore, compression. So, yung dead load, there is no argument that dyan class, ilagay mo agad yung dead load natin as 6 kN per meter. And the influence line tells you class na dapat ilagay mo rin all throughout the span yung 15 kN per meter. So, di ba nga, ganyan naman talaga ang interpretation natin dyan. Kasi nga, um, there is no negative and positive segment nitong influence line. And for the concentrated load, the highest ordinate is yung negative 4 over 3. So, therefore, ilagay natin siya sa gitna. 50 kN. So, therefore, Ang mangyayari, the FAB max here will be equal to, computein natin siya. So, yung mga cons, uh, uniform load, kahit i-combine na lang natin, 6 plus 15 na siya. 
yung total base natin ay 16 kasi di ba one half ang total base ay 16 and yung magiging height niya class ay negative four thirds di ba so therefore meron pa tayong i-consider na 50 as the concentrated load and yung ordinate na nagre-reflect nga doon ay negative 4 thirds. So therefore, kumbitin natin siya as FAB max equal siya sa um, 6 plus 15 one half ng 16 times negative 4 thirds. Di ba? plus 50 negative 4 thirds so ang sagot natin class ay negative 290.667 kilo newtons and since class negative nga siya so therefore ang dapat na sagot natin dito must be um, FAB equals 290.6667 kilo newton and that will be compression. So, yun. It, this must be the correct answer. Kasi ang tanong naman, class, is what is the maximum axial force in member AB? So, dito tayo sa pangatlo, what is the maximum axial force in member CE? So, para hindi ka na mahirapan, alam nyo naman nang gagawin, i-apply nyo lang, class, yung ating uh, 6 kN per meter na dead load all throughout. Kasi nga, ba ang dead load, we have no choice but to apply that all throughout. However, for the case of live load, um, dito lang sa segment na to, and this will be equal to 15 kN per meter. So lastly class, i-consider din natin yung 50 kN. Since nasa taas siya, ibig sabihin class the member experiences positive. So therefore, um sulat natin na FCE max ay equal sa um Ala, nakita niyo na. Nakikinig kasi ako ng kanta ngayon eh. So, FCE max is equal to um, ilan siya? Unahin natin yung 6. Tapos, syempre, wala namang area class sa segment na ito. So, therefore, 0 lang siya. Plus, of course, 6 plus 15. Ang mangyayari, 1 half. Ang base ay 8. Ang height ay 1. Tama ba? So, 6 plus 15, ang base nitong triangle ay 8, ang height ay 1, and lastly, um, plus 50, ang kanyang ordinate ay 1. So, def therefore, ang FCE natin class on maximum is equal to, so, computein na lang natin yan. Of course, the 6 will be cancelled out lang naman. So, magiging uh, 6 plus 15 na lang. Tapos, um, 1 half 8 times 1 and plus 50 times 1. Okay, so ang sagot natin ay 134. 134 kilonewtons. And since this is negative, a positive class, positive siya, so therefore ang FCE maximum natin is 134 kilonewton tension. So, ibig sabihin, dapat daw i-design natin tong member na to to resist a tensile force of 134 kN. So, yun lang class. Um, ito na yung ating sagot. So, ganun lang naman kadali ang konsepto ng influence line for statically determined traces. Yung medyo magulo lang dito or mahaba-haba nga is yung pag-establish ng influence line class. Okay? So, yun lang. Um, tapos na tayo for this discussion. Um, the last example will be um, played after here and this will be the last example nga and last discussion for the influence line for statically determined structure. So, I hope nga no, may natutunan kayo dito sa ating video discussion. So, yun lang and bye-bye!